Oh, uh, sorry, honey. Am I walking too fast? I didn't mean to. I just... I'm excited, you know? I, I want to get there on time and get an early seat. Because every year when I come with my family, they're always like, Yeah, half an hour will be early enough. And then we get here in half an hour, and because I'm so short, I can't see over anybody. And I want to be able to, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well... No, my family can't make it this year. But they came with us to the rodeo, so it's okay. Yeah. Just because they can't make it doesn't mean I shouldn't enjoy myself. Plus, I get to share it with you this year. Which is just as great. Yeah. I love this fair. It's one of my favorites. We... Well, we used to go to them all the time, and then... Well, you know, life got in the way and all that, but, um, this one's my favorite. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. It's just, it feels like a fair. The other ones didn't really feel that way. They felt like someone was trying, you know? Do you like fair rides? Oh, really? I don't. They make me sick. You can go on some if you want. I know it's probably pretty boring going on your own, but I could always text and see if one of my friends are here. They would love to go on with you. What? Uh, no, honey, I don't mind. Look, I trust you, and I trust my friends. I know nothing weird would happen. <laughs> Besides, if it did, well... Uh, <laughs> never mind. No, I know nothing's gonna happen. I told you. I trust you. No, come on. Hurry up. We gotta get good seats. Well, we gotta at least set our chairs down. We can go walk around the barns in the meantime. 7.30 is when it starts, and it's 6.45 now, so we've got a little bit of time. Mm hmm <laughs> What's that? Oh, um... I don't remember what it's actually called, but that's what they hook the horses up to. <laughs> well, I come here for the horse pulls. It's, well, almost exactly what it is. Horses pull. They compete for which team of horses can pull the most weight. And a team is what you call two horses that are hitched together. And they're hitched together is when they're harnessed together. Like, um, you know how you see two horses pulling a cart? That's a hitch. They're in hitch. That's a two-horse hitch, or a team of horses. And here we usually see Belgian draft horses, as they're one of the strongest breeds, and, well, they're bred for this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, there are some people who do overexert their horses, but these horses at this race, they're taken, er, race, this fair, are taken very seriously. They're all checked over by a vet, and they're, I believe, even tested for drugs. Because people will pump them with steroids so they perform better, and it's super dangerous. See, that team over there with that super shiny trailer, a couple years ago I was here, and his team set the world record. Yeah. So anyway, the truck that you asked about, um, I forget what it's actually called, you could probably look it up, but... Um, they can adjust how much weight is on the truck and like how much the horses are pulling and you can see the chain hooked up to the front of it once that flag tips down that means the horses have pulled their full length of a pull and they can stop it's pretty crazy but i promise it'll make sense once it's once it starts why do i like watching this well it's just incredible the power that they have, and they can be so gentle. And, I don't know, it's just exciting to see how excited the horses get, and you'll have people who don't know anything about this and say that it's abuse. And it's not. I mean, it can, anything can become abuse, but for them, it's not. <laughs> they love this. Like, this is literally what they live for. And, oftentimes, the horses only pull for a couple of years, because it wears a lot on their body. It's like a bodybuilder. Eventually, your body gives in. But, I promise you, these horses are so well cared for. Yeah. 
You know, my family wanted to try this once. We had two half-brothers. Their names were Randy and Rocky. And, I mean, they wouldn't have been to this level, but they were our pulling team. Where they would pull the heavier loads around the farm if we needed them to. It was pretty cool watching them work together. But anyway, come on, let's go walk around for a little bit. We've got some time. What do you want to see first? Do you want to see the rides to see if there's anything that you want to ride later? Or do we want to check out the animal barns or the event barns? Those are so cool sometimes. Like a couple of years ago, they had a Lego barn and there was so many amazing Lego builds. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. I What? <laughs> you're You're staring at me. Did I... Did I do or say something? Is everything okay? I'm... I'm cute. <laughs> Is it because I got all excited? Yeah, you seem to think when I get excited and get talking about stuff, I'm cute. <laughs> no, no, I, I appreciate it. I just... I guess I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but you don't ramble like I do, so... Yeah, you... Talk deeper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, well... Anyway... What do you want to check out first? I practically know where everything is here, so... Just ask. Yeah, I mean it. Is there anywhere special you want to see? Or do? Oh, over there? Well, way over there across the bridge. They do all sorts of things. I think tonight is the bump and run, where they turk... Have you seen those? Yeah, they, they take old... um old, uh, like, derby cars, and it's like you run a figure eight, and you can bump into people, and, like, kind of like, um, like, kind of like bumper cars, but a lot more aggressive. Uh, do you remember cars, where they went to that derby to train lightning? I think it was the third one. Um, uh, maybe the fourth one. Um, yeah, with the school bus. It's kind of like that. Not as aggressive, though. They don't, like, actually... Well, I guess some people do come after each other specifically, but... It's kind of neat. You watch one, though, you've seen them all. But I guess people could say that about my horse pulls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look! This ride looks new. Wait, I recognize this one. I went on it one year because I thought it wouldn't make me sick. I was wrong. <laughs> I didn't actually, like, throw up sick, but I definitely regretted <laughs> riding it. Uh, I think it was called the Zipper? I don't remember exactly, but it was not fun. I ended up banging my head on the bar and everything. You know, I've seen too many videos online of these fair rides breaking. And I don't trust them very much. Oh, uh, no, honey, you are absolutely allowed to go on. I'm not gonna stop you from anything like that. Just, just know that if, if something happens, I'm, I'm right here. And I'm not afraid to say or do something to try and help you or somebody else. Heck, maybe if we look around, maybe there'll be a little kid who's scared to go by themselves, and you can invite them to go with you. That way, you can, you know, go with somebody, and you're helping a kid conquer their fear. That happened a couple of years ago. My sister wanted to go on this ride really, really bad. Like, it was one of the bigger reasons we actually came to the fair. And there was this kid who was scared to go on. And their mom was in a wheelchair, so she couldn't. And my sister saw, and she walked over, and it was her last ticket. 
and she, you know, said hi to the kid, asked him what his name was, and they went on it together. It was really cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, are you gonna go and do one of those, like, you know, the carnival games and win me a big stuffed animal? <laughs> really? You were thinking about it? What if we turn this into a date? Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can do that. I'm okay with turning it into a date. Are we gonna eat here, too? Fair food can get real expensive. I don't mind. Just... It's also not very good for you. Yeah, and my mom, she has an amazing elephant ear recipe that we can make at home. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy. It's just dough fried. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is special to get it here. Fine. <laughs> well, a date it is, then. A date at the fair. So, am I getting that stuffed animal, or... <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, you're right. A lot of them are that kind of felt texture, and there's something in me that can't handle it. Thank you for noticing that, by the way. That I don't like felt. At least, like, the velvety felt. It's kind of hard to explain. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, you're really observant. Yeah, you are. And I think it's a really nice quality of you. I like it a lot. <laughs> I mean, you're right. I do like you, but I think that's another reason that I pay attention to different things about you. Because I want to know everything there is to know. About you, that is, not just in general. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Um, darling, I... I had one more request. Could we go on the Ferris wheel and kiss at the top? Yeah, like those couples do in the movies and stuff. I've never had someone to do that with. Yeah. <laughs> My exes were always more into the... Well, like the derby and stuff. They didn't care a ton about what I wanted to see. But then they would get mad when I would go and do it on my own. They're like, well, you never asked. <laughs> but, see, that's the thing about you. That's why you're so amazing. I don't have to ask. You recognize the things that I enjoy, and you encourage me to enjoy them. And that... Well, that speaks volume. It really, really does. So, thanks. Thank you so much. I don't know where I would be without you. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah, I'd probably be with a toxic guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're you're right. You're not toxic. No, I don't think so at all. I love you, and everything about you. <laughs> now, come on. Let's go explore this place. I want to go see some of the exhibit barns. Well, I guess I want to show you the exhibit barns. Have you ever been to a fair before? Really? Never? Oh my goodness, you're missing out. There's so much fun. Gosh, I love them. It's probably the only one we're going to get a chance to get to go to this year, but that's why you always make it a point to make it to your favorite. So then you never miss out. And I get to share it with you. Oh, my wonderful honey. Oh, I could just squeeze you till you pop. I love you so much. <laughs> you make me so happy. Thank you. For being... A good part of my life. 
Now, come on. I want a snow cone. Yes, we can make them at home, but like you said, this is a date. So we're allowed to spoil ourselves. Now, come on. Give me your hand.